Hey everyone, here is Kathy from Kathy Director and in this Cinema 4D tutorial I will show you how you can customize your Cinema 4D. So for that, uh, here is the standard window for Cinema 4D and I will show you um, how you get a customized window like this on the, on the line, on this palette here or uh, here I get content manager with all materials and stuff uh, whatever you want for this stupid stuff here maybe you want to remove it for that you go and click right and go to delete comment if you want um, something in the palette I will show you later before that I will show you how you can change the colors of your Cinema 4D, uh, only the basics. For that you go to Edit and Preferences and here an interface on Sheem can find Dark. When you click there you can find Light and Dark. When you click on Light it will change to Light. So when you have that I will show you now the palettes here. So maybe you want to have rigid body here in R12, Cinema R12, you need to go to Simulation, Dynamics, Create Rigid Body. Maybe you want to have a very fast across to it. For that, I will go and click on maybe here and go on New Palette or click here. Right click and New Palette or whatever you want. So I will do it here, then click on New Palette, it will pop up this window and click on these little dots here. And now you can drag it to where you want to have it, maybe here on the right side, here on the top, I will do it on the top. And here you get a new palette, so you can drag anything on it what you want. You can right click and go to Comment Manager command manager and here you get any uh, commands you have you can type in it what you want or you click on edit palettes and it will get blue and then you go to simulation and dynamics and here on the dots again you click and it will open all your Dynamics and now you can drag what you want on it. So maybe I will want the rigid body and the collider and then you click away and again on edit palette and it's done. Um, when you search something like more text and now you can drag it on whatever you want. So for the next one I will show you here is the tabs on the side where I get my content manager. Click on content manager. You see it here. Go on the dots again and drag to on the other dots where you want to have it. So now I have your objects, content browser and structure. So that's awesome. When you want to remove it, go on the dots and close close manager now you can drag it and whatever you want to so customize it to where you want like maybe you want this layout to save it go to window layout and save layout under then take a name name in it name in it and then you later you will find it and if you want to have it as startup layout so it will start Every time when you start cinema, it will start with this layout. Go to Window, Layout, and save as startup layout. So I made my layout and I call it Customize One. And you see here some other one is in it. And here I s click put in my Save button so I don't need to go to File and Save. So please let me know in the comments um, what you think about this tutorial. And I hope I see you next time. Bye.